Hello everyone and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today let's dive into Chaos Cloth. Real-time physics for the MetaHuman cloth assets. I made this outfit in Gini using my MetaHuman combined mesh and imported it to my project. Gini is a free alternative to Marvelous Designer. Check out my custom cloth tutorial for more information. Beside the outfit, we need an assembled metahuman. Ok, let's start. Right click in the content browser and search for cloth asset. Name it and double click to open it up. We start from scratch and delete all the existing nodes. Right click and search for static mesh import. Drag and drop the static outfit mesh to the nodes details panel. Then switch from 2D simulation to 3D simulation. Drag the collection pin out and search for transfer skin weights. Then drag and drop the skeletal body mesh of your metahuman to the source mesh. Change the render mesh transfer source to skeletal mesh and hit accept. The next node we add is the weight map. Now we can paint the parts of the outfit that will later have physics. First I used the brush tool to paint the lower part of the skirt. Then I used the smooth tool to get a nice transition. But there are more tools to choose from, like a lasso, gradient or fill. Try out what you like the most. Before hitting accept, we need to name the update node Max Distance with a capital M and D. The next node is called Simulation Default Config. Here we got all the variables you can play around with later to set up the physics. The next node is the Simulation Max Distance Config. Click on Show Hide Inputs and select to show all. Then connect the output name pin of the weight map node with a Max Distance weight map pin. For the next node, Search for Set Physics Asset. Here we use the physics asset of our metahuman as the collider for the cloth. I recommend to make a copy of the physics asset to keep the original while we can make changes to the copy. Then drag and drop the copy to the details tab of the physics asset node. The last in the row is the cloth asset terminal node. We can already see a little bit of physics inside the viewport. Let's bring our metahuman body mesh to the skeletal mesh in the preview tab. If we add an animation, we can see the interaction between body and cloth. Ok, nice. Remember, we didn't set up anything yet. We can also add a simulation aerodynamics config to simulate wind. If you notice clipping, you can adjust your weight map anytime to optimize the result. At the end, it is a combination of the weight map, the physics asset of the metahuman, and the simulation config settings. Try to find a good balance between those to reach your goal. If you open up the physics asset, you can adjust the collider spheres. If you move this one away, for example, the upper leg will not collide with the cloth anymore. Here you need to reset the cloth to refresh the view after you have made changes. In the simulation default config node, you can configure the properties of your clothing. 
like stiffness, bending or density. You also will find the properties for collision, simulation, animation, environment and so on. A huge amount of parameters to play with. I show you what I have used, but it clearly depends on the cloth, which settings works well. So play around and try out. In the simulation section, you can increase the iteration count to get better quality simulation. This sets the max iteration count when the frame rate is lower than 60 FPS. And the subdivision count gives you better quality for the collision. But keep in mind, the higher the numbers, the heavier the process for your CPU. Then I only changed the collision properties and left everything else at the default settings. I leave a link in the description where you will find a full explanation of the function of each parameter. Finally, open up your MetaHuman blueprint. Switch to the viewport, add a Chaos Cloth component to the body and drag and drop your created cloth asset to the details panel. Compile and save. If you hit simulate, the cloth physics will show up. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Hope you like it and it was helpful. If you want more tutorials like this, just leave a comment. Cheers!